Hello everybody, Hannes here from Arduino. Today I'll show you how to create messages, simple animations or even little games on the LED matrix of the UNO R4 Wi-Fi. For this tutorial you will need an Arduino UNO R4 Wi-Fi, the latest version of the Arduino IDE and the Arduino LED matrix library. If you want to better understand the bit pattern, take a look at the documentation at docs.arduino.cc or click the link below. You can then go ahead and simply add more frames, like in this case the happy frame, and then inside the loop load the frame, calling each exact frame you want with a short delay, and then simply upload the code again and you have your very own animation. You are now switching between a heart and a smiley face on your LED matrix. If you're new to this, I know it's a little bit hard to understand at first, but don't worry, we have lots of pre-made frames built into the LED matrix library. And if you want to create your very own unique frame, we have a detailed explanation on how to turn the two-day array, which was the first version I showed you, into the more compact version on our documentation platform. We have developed a tool that is used to generate frames and animations to be rendered on the LED matrix in your browser. This tool is part of Arduino Labs and is therefore considered experimental software. To use the tool, you need to upload the following sketch, allowing the board to read serial inputs sent by the browser. You can find the sketch if you go to Files, Examples, LED Matrix and Live Preview. Once you have uploaded the sketch, you need to open the LED Matrix editor, which is linked in the documentation or in the video description. Make sure to use Chrome as it supports serial connections. Confirm that you have uploaded the sketch and select the board from the list of serial devices. Now you can draw any shape you want, remove them with the eraser or add more frames to create your own animations. Once you're happy, you have the option to save them as a C file. That way you can include them in your library as I showed you earlier. You can also save the entire project and import it at a later time or to another computer. Alright guys, this is all I have to show you. I hope you learned something. I hope I've given you the tools to enhance your creativity and take your projects to the next level. If you have any questions or any feedback, feel free to leave them down in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.